welcome back to my channel it's your girl Yanni and today sorry for the lighting in this room because I know this is all shadow and this is all bright but this is what I gotta work with I just got my ring light in you guys will see my quarantine made me buy it haul soon but I haven't had a chance to open it up and figure out where I want to put my lighting where I want to switch things up on you know my filming station but I decided I wanted to do some makeup and I wanted to do something springy. As you can see, partly cloudy. I just got a little dim in here. Natural lighting is what I got to work with right now. Um, but yes, spring look. So for everything that I've been looking online, Instagram, Pinterest, um, TikTok, Facebook, anything else that I look at, it's been colored liners or lower lash colored like brightness. So, I'm going to attempt to do that type of look. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the lower lash color or if I'm going to do a colored liner. I don't know, but I am going to do a wing liner today because i got to get into the mode of doing a wing liner again. Because sooner or later, work will be calling me and I need to go back. I need to know how to do a wing because we'll be wearing masks and all they'll be able to see is my eyes. So i got to work on my eyeshadow game. So if you're interested in seeing the new spring trend, then go ahead and grab a snack, grab a bottle of water, because you know, I definitely need to get healthy and keep on watching. So as you can see, I already got my brows on. Um, I use the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, which is in neutral brown. I just finished this pencil, so that's why I figured I want to get rid of it. Not that it's a bad pencil, it's a really good pencil, but I just have other pencils that I need to get rid of and kind of finish through. I have just so much makeup, I need to like actually finish products off. So that's why I use that and that's all that I have on my brows and then I went ahead and carved them out with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. Alright so we're going to go ahead and go in with primer. I'm going to be using two primers. I'm going to use the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Just a little bit of that. And I'm only using this hydrating one because I went ahead and cleansed my face and didn't put a moisturizer. So I do need to put some moisture back into my face because I cleansed my face this morning. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer because that's like my favorite primer out of them all. And we're going to do a really neutral eye because I'm going to do a colored either eyeliner or lower lash. So we're just going to go very neutral. Something every day and just going to do like a pop of color. And I use this on my T-zone because that's where the most of my pores are. You can hear my kids watching TV behind me. All right, we're going to do our complexion first because, like I said, we're going very neutral on the eyes. If you guys like to know what I used, I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I used the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. I used the Maybelline Fit Me finishing powder the loose one in light medium i also used the elf matte blotting mist and then for bronzer and blush i used the la girls blushing babes blush and bronzer palette and then for highlight i used the la girl moonlight magic highlighting palette and that's pretty much it on to the eyes okay so i put on my elf eyeshadow tapes and because I want to do a nice wing, I'm going to go into this palette. This is my Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. And I could have used the LA Girl Blush Babes bronzer and um, blush palette. But I wanted to use a different eyeshadow palette because I've been using the same ones over and over and over again. So I figured why not dip into my collection and see what I got. This one's very spring. So I'm going to take the first color, which is Sweet Tea, and I'm going to run that in my crease. I'm going to take that right into my crease and I'm going to wing it out 
just following this and then going into the wing just kind of leaving like a gap right there and it's like a peachy nudie brown kind of color it's a perfect transition color but today we're going to use it as our eyeshadow we're going to build that up quite a bit and if you see me I'm actually taking the color right into my nose contour so it blends really well okay so I think that's even and then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with this brown right here. This is called Old Fashioned. And I'm just gonna take that on the outer portion of my wing. So like right here, just wanna make it a little tiny bit darker. And I'm staying right in here, right there. I'm not going into the, the crease, I'm just kind of building this color like right there this is a pretty like reddish brown kind of color and it's just intensifying that outer wing like I said I'm not taking it anywhere I'm just intensifying that outside And I hope you guys are enjoying the craziness that's happening with my kids. Okay. Now we're going to go in with a winged liner. Let's go in with a yellow liner. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually do on the very bottom a bold pink eyeshadow. So I'm using the ColourPop liquid liner called Make Love, and it's the yellow liner. And I'm going to attempt to do this on camera. Let's see how it works. Let's see. Tell daddy that's not nice. Okay. So it's a little light. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the yellow eyeliner on. I'm actually going to go over it with this yellow eyeshadow that says Lemonade Craze just to get it a little bit more profound and more dark. I'll be right back. Okay, so that helped out the lash, the liner a little bit. I'm going to go in with this color right here, Citrus. And I'm going to, actually, we're going to go with Sherbert. And I'm taking that on my elf packing brush. I'm just going to put that on the lid. Now I'm going to take these eye tapes off. Now for our lower lash, I said I'm going to do a pop of pink. So in that same Lemonade Craze palette, I'm going to take this color right here, Ice Pop, and I'm going to run that on my lower lash. I'm taking that same angled brush. I went ahead and cleaned off the yellow. And I'm going to run that super close to my lower lash line. No 
I'm going to take that right next to that wing. I'm going to wing it out just like that. Then I'm going to take a small little tiny detailing brush. With that same ice pop color and I'm going to go ahead and smoke the bottom lash down. And then right next to it is this corally color. I'm going to take that on that same detailing brush. I'm just going to run that right under it. So that's the eye so far. I'm going to go ahead and throw on some lashes and I'll be right back. Alright, so I put these lashes on. These are some lashes that I got at the Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. My mom got them. These are the color, the color mates lash out ones. This is in the style Diva. Put those on. Not my favorite. I mean, it is what it is. We're just playing with makeup. I'm gonna spray one more time. This time I'm gonna be using my Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist from Skin & Company. Now let's get our lip together. Okay, for our lip, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil, of course, in the color Trixie. And I'm going to line my lips. And then to continue along with this pinky vibe, I'm going in with the Dose of Colors liquid lip in the color pinky promise and this one is a liquid matte lip can't get much brighter than that and this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed creating this springy like look this is what I came up with I think it looks pretty it's beautiful let me take you over to the Sun where you'll see it much better Let's see if I get it. so this is the look I think it looks beautiful it's perfect for spring if you don't want to do something so bold I think it's absolutely beautiful I love it lashes not my favorite um, but you know for a buck what can you do I wanted to try them out so I will not be repurchasing these but I think everything else is really really pretty so yeah thank you so much for watching I appreciate all the love and the support subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload videos which is three days a week Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays you know if life permits and let me know in the comments down below if you've been doing any springy looks I know that we are all quarantined inside but we just have to do what makes us feel better and doing makeup and trying to feel the brightness that is coming in um, and being positive is what makes me feel better so this is what I came up with stay tuned I will be doing a lot more springy colorful looks like this and yeah thank you so much again for all the support and I will see all you beauties in my next video Bye.